Hello, hi, this is Charlie Lorenz, host of the Abalone Hunter. Today it's Tuesday, April 30th, on a minus tide here at Todd's Point. We're here to basically talk a little bit about what's going on out here. You can see it's very rough out there. A lot of winds coming really hard from the north. There are abalone hunters down below working in the rocks. I should say brave abalone hunters because this is a dangerous time to be hunting for abalone, especially right now. It is going on low tide in about uh, the lowest part of the low tide is about 15 minutes. It's a minus one foot today, but the problem is right now going that the tide is dropping or what they say ebbing out. In other words, as the tide is dropping, the flow of the ocean is heading out toward the ocean. So it's getting pulled out. And at this particular time where we have really strong north winds with a really strong longshore current, also we have another situation, what they call the Ekman transport, which is causing what they call an upwelling. This upwelling basically draws ocean water from underneath and pulls it out in toward, you know, open ocean. So basically you've got like three different currents happening going that way, going out to ocean. And any one of these rock pickers out here, if they're not careful, and they slip in some deeper water, especially because they're not wearing fins, they could be pulled, pulled out into the ocean to this very, very rough sea that you see behind me. I mean, there's some big waves, big white caps. They're calling up to 18 to 20 foot swells out there by the end of the day. So very dangerous time for people to go diving or even rock picking. Uh, gotta be very, very careful. Some things I would recommend, if I was gonna be brave enough to go out there, which I'm not, not today, <laughs> I would be definitely having a float with me, some kind of a flotation device, so if I got pulled out to sea, at least I have something to hold on to, to rest on, okay? Uh, fins would be a plus, so it'll help you fight against the current. But all in all, if you're working in these low minus tides, be very, very careful with these kind of days. Hold on tight with those rocks, be sure you stay close to your dive buddy, and good luck. All right, so hopefully we'll be seeing each other soon in the ocean. You take care and have a good abalone hunt.